it's a very, very um, strong cocktail. And of course, there are going to be people who are not going to want that type of inexperience. And that's fine. It is, you know, and I've been very clear, making it clear that this is a roller coaster ride. Only come on it if you're really prepared to do the loop to loop a few times. Buongiorno, Marilena Vinci, freelance. It's unfortunate because there's only like eight or ten of people that clap there, but now I'm just joking. <laughs> Grazie, grazie. Allora, la domanda è, è, io credo che sia una sorta di cannibal movie questo film, l'artista che si nutre della sua musa e i fan che si nutrono dell'artista. Allora, volevo chiedere soprattutto agli attori, eh, vo il vostro rapporto con i fan, se, voi anche, se anche voi qualche volta vi sentite cannibalizzati e se c'è un limite oltre vorreste che i vostri fan non si spingessero. Grazie. Uh, a mí todavía no me han comido, o sea que uh, está bien. Uh, yo creo que es una suerte poder trabajar en este oficio, es una bendición poder vivir de ello y tener, la, pues como en este caso, el, el honor de pertenecer a una película con un talento extraordinario como el que acompaña esta mesa y los que no están. Uh, lo otro es simplemente una consecuencia con la que vives pero no es ni mucho menos lo importante y ni mucho menos el objetivo. Eh, la responsabilidad de un artista es con la, con la obra. Eh, mi responsabilidad es siempre con el trabajo, con el personaje, con la película. Luego lo que haga yo con mi vida ya es otra cosa, ¿no? Pero, pero no, a mí todavía no me han, no me han comido. I, I didn't know he spoke Spanish so well. <laughs> neither, neither did we. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer and, and, and Michelle, would you like to, to uh, add something to uh, uh, the question to whether part of in, in the film there, there is also meditation on fame and, and, and the uh, uh, greediness of fans and, and, and the invasiveness of, of, uh, of, of uh, uh, people that want to share fame? Look, if it weren't for fans, I, I wouldn't be able to do what I love and I would be no use to society if I couldn't act this is the only thing I know how to do and I love my job and so if I didn't have fans I wouldn't be able to do it so I mean the people who are outside there's no words for the amount of gratitude and gratefulness that I have for our fans but I think that in our movie um, a side of humanity that Darren was alluding to is that it's it's insatiable You know, I come to these events, I'm happy to sign as many autographs as I can, say hello to as many people as I can, but sometimes I'm just walking outside and going to the grocery store or getting out of my car and going to a restaurant. Um, I think that they're, they're, for me, I find the balance in myself. I say, I'm not going to let anybody make me feel like I can't just get on an airplane and not take a picture with somebody because I don't have makeup on and I don't want to hear how fashion sites don't like my pajamas. So I, sometimes I say no. Um, it's important to have those boundaries. But I think he's speaking more to the insatiable need that we all have, especially now with the Internet. It's uh, funny. We it, just want, hello. Oh, sorry. I, you were <laughs> um, I was just, so we just picking up on you. We need more and more and more. And now you can talk. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, But it's funny because it's it's a it's a it's a byproduct of the movie. I think it was never in the conception of the film as as the author of the film to to talk about that. Um, I it, it wasn't something I was searching, I, but I think it comes off very strong in the film. Um, but anyway, I, I think I it just, was more of a sorry to interrupt you, but I think it was more you were speaking of humanity, not necessarily fans. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> It's also a very different experience for the famous person to be receiving that kind of adulation than the loved ones around you because they're just receiving it as an intrusion and uh, a huge distraction from 
your loved one and they're not getting all of the good stuff. So I think for me, that's one of the things it represents. Again, the movie is from Jennifer's point of view. I'm so sorry they, they, tell, they told me we ran out of time. What happened? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that was nice. Wow. That is something. That was scary. Okay. Got to breathe my thing